Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. And we are pleased to be joined by the one, the only Matt Benedetto, the driver of the number 21 uh, Motorcraft Ford for Wood Brothers Racing. How's it going, man? Doing great, man. How about you? Doing well. Um, I know that I, and it's, been an, it's been quite the interesting year for you. Um, didn't Definitely didn't start off well, but it looks like you guys are making improvements as you guys go along, of course, with the new crew chief change as well. How's that been going so far? Yeah, you know, it's been uh, up and down. So we started the season. It was really rough. Just a lot of bad circumstances, things not going our way. Then we got in a roll of, you know, a few top tens in a row, a lot of uh, tons of top 15 runs. So we were at least having some uh, consistency and good runs there. And then uh, I just kind of went back downhill or um, not quite having the execution we needed, not having good races, not, not things going our way, all of it, all of the above. And um kind of fell back again. So we're, uh, you know, these, these last uh, 10 races or so before the playoffs start. Um, and obviously we have new crew chief with Jonathan Hassler. We're, um, you know, really needing to get in a good rhythm and click off a lot of good races and rack up some points. Yeah. Okay. We're going to a track that not a lot of people have been to in a long time or have never been to uh, Nashville super speedway. Um, how is that for you? What's it like going to a track that you've never been to? But the good news is you're going to get practice and qualify. Yeah, no, I um, I raced there back in 2000, oh, through 2010, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, man, I, I don't remember a whole lot about it, actually. Yeah. So, um, but it's, uh, no, it's fun. I'm just excited that we get to go back to that area. Um, you know, that's a great demographic area for us to be in. So, super pumped about that. But, uh yeah, I think the track's going to be good. I'm really, really glad. I'm most glad that it's a, a low downforce race, so we get to run the fun package, you know, with the low downforce, the high horsepower. So yeah. uh, we always look forward to just driving that in general. And then, um, yeah, having practice and stuff will help us to be uh, be right up to speed. Yeah. So I, I know that there's been a lot of questions about, you know, your future. Uh, of course, with every with everything happening, <laughs> things possibly could get, be getting announced in the next few weeks. Have you talked to the Wood Brothers and said, you know, what is, what are your plans for next year? Have you asked that question yet? Uh, not really. You know, there's, it's, it's kind of confusing on, on my end or on this end, because there's a lot of people involved, you know, uh, I love driving for the woods and they, you know, I think they would, um have me back if they could you know uh we have a great relationship love driving for them but there's a lot of people involved you know so it's uh also team penske um the folks from ford and um so there's a lot of uh a lot of different moving parts that go into that but um yeah it's kind of getting to that time obviously to where uh i would um definitely like to to know or have an idea but there's um other dominoes that need to fall to for me to have get an answer so uh yeah hopefully it uh hopefully it works out and we you know some of those dominoes start falling soon so i can start finding out a little something but as of right now i you know i don't really know much yeah uh we're get, we're we're not there yet but we're getting we're getting there we're getting to that time so i i know that the next few weeks for you i know you're coming up to some you know some good tracks you know we got pocono you know another road course at road america we have new hampshire coming up and as well as atlanta in the next few weeks before the big Olympic break, what, what do you want to see this team accomplish? Uh, I would just like to see consistency and, and good execution, you know, like a, just races executed well from start to finish. Uh, me and Jonathan, uh, I'm excited about working with him and to have uh, great communication throughout the race and um, make all the right adjustments on the cars. Uh, just the basic execution things are, are the things that I want to see. And, and then obviously see those turn into uh, good, consistent runs to rack up points. Yeah, of course. So talk about a track like Nashville Super Speedway. What do you have to do to get around a place like that? How tough is it, especially since you haven't been there in a while? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think getting around there will be be fine. I think the racing will be good. The most fun part is with the low downforce, the high horsepower, you know, you can it, it makes it easier to pass to where you can get people's bumpers and, you know, move them out of the way and, and, and pass a, a lot easier. So that's really nice. Excited about that part. And um, luckily we have practice. So, uh, you know, it, as far as driving the racetrack, that won't be hard to, 
you know, figure out or jog the old memory, that'll be fine. Uh, it's more so just uh, from the whole team standpoint, going to a new racetrack, you know, how close is our starting setup going to be? Um, how close, how quickly can we get dialed in on what we need? So that's uh, in a short practice session. So that's probably going to be the, uh, the biggest challenge and then qualifying well, obviously. And uh, so I'd say those are really going to be the most interesting parts. Do you guys think you need one practice session as we kind of look at where, as we kind of look at practice and qualifying, I know we're not going to see much of it this year, but for next year, do you want to see at least maybe two practice sessions? Who knows what the, who knows what the schedule is going to look like? If there's going to be new tracks, um, how long is it? How short is it? Blah, 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 blah. What do you want to see? from that do you want to do you need two practice sessions or do you think you might go with one or maybe even none at all uh you know i think with the current car that we have we've ran it so much we have so many notes you know all that stuff um, we're so familiar with the cars that one one practice session i think is enough um, we've proven that we can go to all these great places we've raced at four with no practice so uh and be just fine so no i think one practice is plenty um with the next gen car next year you know maybe uh maybe we'll need a little more but we but these teams are so good technology so good that uh i think it's a no-brainer that we can run pretty much always two day shows just saturday sundays um as far as on track activity for us and and that's plenty of time for us to get what we need and put on a great show exactly all right Matt DiBenedetto, thank you so much for coming on and spending a few minutes with us, and uh, good luck this weekend at Nashville. Sounds good. Thanks, Casey.